Hi everyone, in this video, we will go through few complex problems related to logarithms. In today's video, let's cover these six problems. Before we start solving the problems, let's recall all the logarithmic laws which is needed before even we solve the problems. The first law is log of mn. That is, if you have multiplication, then you will have to write it as log of m plus log of n. So, here you have m into n. It's going to become m plus n, log m plus log n. Multiplication, if there is multiplication, it will become addition. Similarly, log m by n. Log m by n is log m minus log n. That is, if you have division, then it will become subtraction. And third one is log m to the power n. m to the power n. That is, if you have a power, then it's going to be n into log m. n into log m. n is the power. Fourth law is change of base law change of base law so if you have something like log m to the base n then we can write it as log m to the base a by log n to the base a this way we can write log of m by log of n to some other base which is base a also if we have 1 by log m we can write as log n to the base m that is we can swap the base and the number and Take a recipro reciprocal of it. And the last one is, always remember this particular uh, property. If you have base and the number as same, then the power is going to be 1. That is, log a to the base a is 1. Let us take the first problem. We have an expression given. We have to show that a minus b the whole square is 12ab. Right? Basically, we have to prove an expression given the logarithmic expression. So, what we will do is, we will take the expression that is given here. By using logarithmic laws, right? We will try to simplify this. Log a plus b by 4 is equal to this much. Now you can write log a plus log b. Right? What is log a plus log b? It is log mn. It is log ab. Log ab. Using the logarithmic law, log a plus log b is log a into b. Right? Now, half into log ab. You can write this as log ab to the power half using this property. Log m to the power n is n log m. So, you have half into log ab. So, you can put this half as the power. Half is the power ab to the power of. Now, since both the sides there is log, so this number should be same. That is a plus b by 4 should be equal to ab to the power half because both are equal. Obviously, the values also should be same. Right? Now, you will simplify this. a plus b by 4 is equal to ab to the power half is nothing but a plus b. You move, you move 4 this side, you will get 4 root ab. ab to the power half can be written as root ab. Always remember this. Root a is a to the power half. Square root a. And cube root, cube root a is a to the power 1 by 3, right? Now, so you can write this half a square root, 4 into root of ab. Remember one thing, here we will have to get a minus b the whole square. a minus b the whole square. That means, we will have to get a minus b the whole square. So, what we will do is, we will square on both the sides. Because there is a square here. There is a square here. So, clue is we will have to square on both the sides. When you square, you will get this. Right? You can expand this. You will get like this. Right? Now, another clue we will have to use. We need 12ab here. We need 12ab here. But here we have 16ab. How do we get 12ab? Right? What we can do is we can take 4ab. 16ab minus 4ab is 12ab. So, we will take 4ab and subtract from both the sides. We would have to do the subtraction on both the sides. Because that is how we can balance the equation. Whenever we add some number on one side of the equation, we will have to add the same number on the other side of the equation as well. So that we balance the equation. Now when you subtract 4ab on both the sides, you will get 12ab here and you will get minus 2ab. Now you, this entire expression can be written as a minus b the whole square. Because a minus b the whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab. We have a, a square plus b square minus 2ab given here. So, you can write it as a minus b the whole square which is equal to 12ab. So, the statement is proven. We have proven this statement. Similar example, same thing we will have to do. We have log on both sides and both the sides are equal. Hence, a minus b should be equal to 5ab to the power half. 5ab to the power half can be written as root 5ab. So, a minus b is root 5ab. Square on both sides. Because RHS is having square, a square plus b square. Square on both sides. We need 7ab here, right? But we have 5ab. So, add 2ab on both sides. Add 2ab on both sides. And then you will get a square plus b square is 7ab. Here, 
if m square plus n square is 15 mn show that this expression is true so what we'll do is we'll take this left hand side take this as right hand side we'll separately simplify left hand side right hand side and prove that both of these are equal so what we can do is take this lhs 2 log m minus n 2 log m minus n can be written as m minus n the whole square because m log n is m to the power m n log m to the power m n so log m minus n the whole square this 2 this 2 here will come here now you expand this when you expand m minus n the whole square is nothing but m minus n m minus n the whole square is m square plus n square minus 2 m n this is a formula even if you manually multiply like this m minus n into m minus 1 two times if you multiply you will get the same answer so you will get this now we got m square plus n square m square plus n square is 15 mn substitute 15 mn here 15 mn minus 2 mn is 13 mn right now come to the right hand side log 13 plus log m plus log n you can write this as log 13 into m into n this is nothing but log a plus log b plus log c is log a into b into c now if you notice this is log 13 mn this is also log 13 mn so both lhs and rhs are same therefore we can prove that this particular expression is true similar example same thing you do take the left hand side take the right hand side right expand it then use this particular uh, substitution m square plus n square is 20 mn so you get lhs is equal to rhs so n is proven let's take the next problem here if log to the base a b c base b base e so different bases are given show that this entire thing is true so you take this you take this lhs right and this is rhs so lhs you take so x what is x instead of x you can write log bc to the base a log bc to the base a right and then plus one so instead of y we can substitute log c a to the base b log c a to the base b plus one and here also substitute log a b to the base c plus one now one can be written as this one can be written as log a to the base a is one log b to the base b is one log c to the base c is one right this is a property this is a log property right if the base and the number is same then the value is one base and the number is same value is one so instead of one you can write it as log a to the base a b base b c base c we'll use this here it is c so we'll use c here it is b so you'll use b here it is a so we'll use a now since the bases are same now we can use the log property this is like log m plus log n log m plus log n is log mn so it will be a into bc log a into bc here also log a into bc log a bc only the bases are different here base is a base is b base is c now there is one logarithmic property 1 by log a to the base b you can write this as log base a b basically you can swap this this one property when you have 1 by log a to the base b you can write it as log b to the base a swap this swap the base and the number and take log on top right so 1 by log a b c to the base a can be written as swap this swap this a b c will come here a will come here swap this b will come here a b c will come here swap this a b c will come here c will come here right now if you notice all the bases are same correct all the bases are same so you when you add up all this it will be log a plus log b plus log c is nothing but log of a into b into c log of a into b into c to the base a b c now you notice here when the base and the number is same when the base and the number is same it's one if the base and the number is same then the value is one therefore one what is one the right hand side value since lh is equal to rhs we can prove that the statement is true let's take another problem here we have a different kind of question solve solve this expression solve means we have to find the value of x right solve means we have to find the value of x using the logarithmic properties here you have addition subtraction so what does it mean addition means you multiply so it's x into 2x minus 1 x into 2x minus 1 multiply this two because it's addition and here it's subtraction subtraction means it's going to be division so it's going to be division so x into 2x minus 1 by x plus 1 we're going to divide this right so now so they have told that this entire expression is equal to log 2 now remember one thing 
there is log on both sides and both sides are equal. Therefore, 2x square minus x by x plus 1 should be equal to 2. So, 2x square minus x by x plus 1 is equal to 2. So, this and this should be equal. So, 2x square minus x by x plus 1 is equal to 2. Now, we will shift x plus 1 this side. We will get 2 into x plus 2 into 1 which is 2. So, you get this expression. Right. So, finally, you will get this quadratic equation. Right. Now, you will have to find the roots. You need to find the x values. Right. You have 2x square minus 3x minus 2. How do you find the value of x? So, you can use this formula. 2x square minus 3x minus 2. This is the formula. Minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is the formula. b is the coefficient of x. a is the coefficient of x square. C is the constant. C is the only number. Only number that you see is C. So, this is C. This is B. This is A. A is number next to X square. B is minus 3. Number next to X. B is minus 3. C is minus 2. Always consider the signs. Now, substitute A, B, C in this particular uh, equation. You have less than minus here. So, once you will have to add it with this. And then, second time you have to subtract. So, you get root of 25 is 5. 3 plus 5. And then you will take 3 minus 5, plus and minus. So, with plus ones, with minus ones, you will get these values of x. So, you will get x values of 2 and minus half. x is equal to 2 and minus half. This is another example where we have to solve, that is find the value of x. In this case, we will have to use change of Bayes law. Change of Bayes law, right? Change of Bayes law states that if you have log b to the base a, you can write as log b by log a, log b by log a. Right? You can write log b and log a. Right? We will have to use this. Why we will have to use this? Because you have different bases here. Right? When you have different bases, we can't simplify this equation. You will have to get it to a common base. Only then you can do, you can apply any logarithmic laws and simplify it. So, what we will do? We can write this as, we have 2 log x to the base 2. So, you can write this as log x by log 2, log x by log 2, log x by log 4, log x by log 8. That's how we have written here. Again, this log 4 can be written as 2 square. 8 can be written as 2 cube. Right? So that now you can use the logarithmic laws. This 2 square will become 2 log 2. 2 cube will be 3 log 2. So this will be 3 log 2. This will be 2 log 2. That's what we have written here. Now we will take the LCM of all these three. LCM. What is the LCM? You have log 2 common. So log 2. And what will be the number now? You have 1 year, 2 year, 3 year. There is nothing here means 1. So 1, 2, 3. What is the LCM of 1, 2 and 3? What is the LCM of 1, 2 and 3? It is 6. Right? It is 6. Using this method. 2, 3 is a 6. 6 and then we have log 2. 6 log 2. Here we have log 2. We will have to get 6 log 2. To get 6 log 2, you have to multiply with 6 here. Only then you will get 6 log 2. Right? Because you have log 2 here. And here you have 6 log 2. You will have to multiply with 6. So, you get 6 log 2. So, now when you multiply this numerator with 6, you will get 12 log x. Now, you have denominator as 2 log 2. You need 6 log 2. So, you need to multiply with 3. Only when you multiply this number with 3, you will get 6 log 2. So, multiply numerator with 3. So, it will be 9 log x. Now, you have 3 log 2. To get 6 log 2, you have to multiply with 2. Right? That means you have to multiply numerator with 2. So, you will get 10 log x. Now, add up all this. You will get this value. 31 and 6. You can take it to the other side and simplify. You will get 12. Log x by log 2 is 12. Log x is equal to log x is equal to 12 into log 2 by shifting this. Log x is equal to 12 log 2. You can write 12 log 2 as 2 to the power 12. Correct? You can write like this. Through property log m log n is log of m to the power n. So, 12 log 2, you can write as log 2, the power, this will become the power. So, log x is equal to this much. Now, both the sides are equal. That means, this has to be equal. This has to be equal, right? So, x is equal to 2 to the power 12. x is equal to 2 to the power 12. When you simplify, 2 to the power 12 is nothing but 4096. So, x is equal to 4096. With this, we have come to the end of this particular topic. If you have found this video useful, do press a like and share it. Thank you.